When we first start 3D Coat, we'll be presented with this screen showing several options. We're going to choose the voxel sculpting option and the empty scene button. Up under the camera menu, you can choose background and choose the reference image for the X axis. Here we have our background image. There are several options to choose for, from, but we don't need to change anything, so we'll just close it. Now it's locked in place, so it's not going to be adjusted at all. Under the Primitives tool, you have several choices here, but we're going to stick with the cube. With the 4 key on the numeric pad on your keyboard, which can also be accessed here, you can choose the left panel. The 5 key chooses orthographic view, which can also be accessed through this cube icon. We're going to position our cube so that it fills a little bit more than the space we need. should do it. Let's rotate the model so we can see the sides. Looks like it's a little bit too wide, so we'll thin it up a little. Should be good. Okay, we go back to the left view. When we press enter, it will actually create the voxels. Let's go to the Carve tool, and then this is the E panel. We call it that because you can also access it via the E key. Here we have a Spline tool. We're going to trace the shape of our grip. Under the Floating menu, you can pick B Splines, which helps to make it a little bit easier. Back in that floating menu, clicking Edit Points will make it stop following your mouse. Right-clicking on each of the points makes it sharp. Then you can adjust them. That looks pretty good. Now, still having the carve tool selected, you can hit Control and Enter, and it'll cut away everything inside the selection. But we don't want that. We want to cut away the outside. So we'll Control Z to undo, and we'll Control Shift Z to cut away everything outside. Now we don't need that spline anymore, so we can just clear it out and pick a different tool on the E panel. Now as we rotate around, you can see we've got our shape. Obviously we don't need this sharp edge here, so we'll smooth it out. Using the Smooth tool, you can see it works a little bit, but it would take a long time to do it like this. So under the Voxels menu, you can choose Proxy Visualization, and we're going to set this to reduce to 8. It's eight times lower resolution. We'll click this hard drive with an arrow pointing down to it icon, which reduces the resolution. We'll go back to the Smooth tool. We'll round it off. go back up the resolution, we'll see it still has uh, some sharp pinches in there. So we'll go back to this proxy visualization and change it to 4x and reduce again. 
With the spacebar, you can get all the same tools here as a pop-up floating menu, like this. Smooth that out some more. should do it. Back up. There's still a little bit of pinch, but this time it's enough to get rid of in the voxel sculpting. Right now, after reducing the resolution, it switches you to surface mode, which is sort of like poly polygonal sculpting. You can get back to voxel mode by clicking this curved line. I'll pick the smooth tool. Now we should be able to smooth out these pinches. If I go back into the camera menu, in the background, I can edit image placement to temporarily hide the background. You can see now we've roughly got our grip shape in.